Hello Digital Music Class, this is Ms. Eddington and we're getting started in Hook Theory and we're going to look at the major scale. It's the building blocks for lots and lots of music so we're going to learn to compose the, the major scale. So let's listen to it. Okay, so it's the white keys from C to C on the piano for the C major scale. So then there's lots of songs that um, play with the C major scale. Here's a list of them. Um, and then we're going to go down to um, show you that their C major scale starts on C. But of course, the D major scale starts on D. However, it doesn't play on all the white keys because it needs um, to keep the same pattern. So when you look at from C to C, the same pattern the major pattern, major scale pattern is a whole step, whole step, and then a half step. Between E and F is just a half step. There's no um, black key in between there. And then whole step, whole step, whole step, and then between C, B, and C is a half step. So you have to do the same patterns for every um, for every major scale. So lots of times we think of it as the um, third, one, two, three, the third step, and the seventh step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Those were, are where the half steps come. If you're a singer, um, if you sing do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, between do, re, mi, fa, between mi and fa is the half step, and then up at the top between ti and do. So it can be between three and four or seven and eight, me and fa, t and do, but it's always the same pattern. It's always, um, whether it's D scale, um, E scale, F scale. So we're going to, today we're going to create scales um, using that same pattern. Okay, so here we are in hook pad, and I'm going to create um, just a C major scale. And so to get the, um, to get the single notes up, I'm going to click on the um, single notes and I'm going to change the duration from one because I'm going to make them all whole notes. This is whole note, half note, quarter note, but whole notes are four beats in duration. So I'm going to click on four and then I'm going to add the notes. C, D, whoops, that one got in the wrong spot. You can drag them around. And if you go back, you'll get the high C. Okay, so that's all you need for the major scale for C, but it's different in D. So we're going to try it in D. So to do it in D, I'm going to click on D. And this time I'm going to make them half notes. I'm going to go up and get the duration. And I'm going to start on D this time. So I'll click D, E, F, Now that is not um, that's not a uh, major scale. If I listen to it, whoops! I got to start at the beginning. So hopefully you can hear that that is not a major scale. Like I said, I've got to change what's between 3 and 4 and 7 and 8. So I'm going to go to 1, 2, 3. I'm going to click on the third scale. I'm going to make sure that it's raised up a half step. And then I'm going to go to the seventh scale. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And um, sometimes it will it will already be raised um, for you depending on what scale it is. But now if we listen to it, it is the major scale for D. Okay, so here's the E major scale. Um, 
As you can see, there are some sharps, which are the um, black keys, and they raise it a half step. And I'm going to go E, F, G, and then the half step is between G sharp and A. See how close they are? And I said it was the third step between me and Fa, between three and four. And then we have a whole step and a whole step and a whole step. And the half step comes between seven and eight, or T and Do. They come between D sharp and E. But I wanted to show you this because it's not always... Um, there are sharps and um, flats, which are called accidentals, in scales, um, even if they're not half steps. They're, they're showing they're actually whole steps. From an F sharp to a G sharp is a whole step. So let me show you how to um, do an E, e um, major scale also. Okay, and so now um, let me put the E scale in there, and I'm going to keep them as quarter notes. And this time it says type. 1 to 7 to add more notes, um, and A, J, K, L, semicolon for duration. But so I'm going to actually put it in with my keyboard. Just did it. There we go. So put those in. But now if I play this, this is not an E scale. I need to put in the half steps. So, whole step, whole step. But between E and F is not a whole step, it's a half step. So I'm gonna raise that one a half. That means I have to raise this one a half. Then these, this is the whole step, whole step. And then this is a half step, so I can leave it alone. Whole step whole step, whole step, and then this has to be the half step. And let's listen to that and see how it sounds. Ooh, that's not right. I need to, there we go. I forgot one of my sharps, there we go. There. Okay, so you can um, you can use your ear to find the half steps. You can um, look at the piano keyboard for half steps. You can raise your hand and ask me for half steps. But today you'll be composing the major scale in different keys.